All right, you guys. My plan is to record a vlog this week. We are on Monday. It is already like one something. Um, my plan was to start earlier in the day. Um, that didn't happen. I had a bunch of things tacked on. So right now, we are literally starting this vlog with me putting my shower curtain back on. I have this, uh, oh man. I have this um, awesome shower curtain that I love. It's, it's green. Um, it's green, it has trees. I'll show you after I'm done. exciting week but I kind of wanted to bring you along as to what a regular week looks like for me so I'm still working on laundry from yesterday I am still I think I need I think I have one more load to wash actually and then I have to go load I have to go unload my dryer fold that and then I'll be done I should be done today with laundry that I started yesterday so okay I'm trying to I'm trying to drink more water I'm supposed to be drinking more water so I'm gonna fill this sucker up and then this is going to be my goal for today my Owala. I think I might get through this one. I used to be really good at drinking water. Like I would, um, I bought one of those hydro jugs, like the big, I think it had like, what was it, a two gallon one? And uh, it wasn't two gallons, probably about a gallon and a half. And I don't know what I did with it. When we moved, I don't, I don't know what I did with it. And anyway.
Y'all, I am struggling this morning, as you can tell. I actually forgot to fold my husband's laundry last night, and here I am. <laughs> and my husband is graciously making us coffee for this morning to enjoy while we sit outside um, to enjoy the crisp air. What we usually do is we go outside and we sit in the garage and we just wait for our children to wake up and we just enjoy each other's company and just catch up because sometimes we are so busy the day before we really don't have time to catch up. Good morning, it's Wednesday morning. This is legit what I look like in the morning sometimes. So, so I am about to make breakfast. So far I have, I've, I made the beans yesterday. I blended them up. I usually blend them up in the, um, in the blender to get them smooth. And this morning we are making chorizo, egg and bean burritos. breakfast this morning and I need to do my hair so that's what we're gonna do right now I literally have like 30 minutes to get ready right now so let's see how fast we can get ready in under 30 minutes now i just finished up my bible study um because i had to leave super early this morning i met up a friend we had breakfast we talked all things just god family life um that was really neat and then i went to the store to pick up a few things what else did i do and then i came home i filmed some content and then I had lunch and then I did my study. And then now <laughs> I thought I was gonna be able to rest for a little bit, but I'm not. I have to get ready to drive to one of my kids' events. So that's what I'm about to do. I'm about to um, go put some shorts on for that and a t-shirt 
and then head out for that. So um, I am going to make for dinner white rice, chicken, chicken teriyaki over a bit of white rice. Um, and then I'm gonna roast some Brussels sprouts and roast some um, sweet potato. And that's what we're gonna have for dinner tonight. So I'm excited for that. And I'll be back later. What's up y'all? I am making dinner. I am chopping up some Brussels sprouts right now. It has been such a busy day, but such a blessed day. Um, I did my reading today and we're doing it in First Kings for my women's Bible study. And I was reading, um, we're reading about Solomon. So we're studying Solomon, his character, you know, his dad, um, which is King David. Um, uh, so that's a very interesting story and I really, I'm really enjoying the way that they're doing this Bible study because I'm like, I like that you're asking me questions so that I can answer them so I know that I'm understanding and I am, um, I'm just understanding the word and it's really just, I'm retaining it, that's what I'm trying to say, that I'm retaining the information because I have terrible memory, like really bad memory, so I'm really loving it and I'm enjoying it. Um, so just for the rest of the night, I'm just waiting for my veggies to be cooked. I just set my rice in the Instant Pot. I'm just having regular white rice. And then the kitchen, the kitchen, <laughs> the chicken is done. Um, so all we're going to do for the evening is just relax, eat dinner, and just spend time with the family. So I'll probably come back and show you guys how dinner looks and um we're trying out this new teriyaki sauce i'm gonna show you it's probably not new for you guys but it's new for us this kinder's teriyaki sauce and glaze my husband tried it he said it's amazing so so i went to the hgb to buy this it was initially like 3.98 they had a two dollar off coupon right now so i only paid under two dollars for this instead of four dollars so that was awesome my save today so yeah i'm just waiting for dinner and that's it all right y'all the food is ready but we're gonna serve my husband first and then we're gonna get his reaction so just so you know the recipe i made today is inspired by the original chop shop and it's just so so good so here we go so for the chicken, I only did salt, pepper, and garlic powder um, because it's teriyaki chicken. I didn't want any other flavor to really overpower the teriyaki. So, my kids are still gonna eat all of this. and now um, I got back from Bible study at around 1 um, that's all I've really done today I woke up got ready took the kids to school and then went to my Bible study which was great um, the study in Solomon is just amazing and I'm like just loving it loving every moment of it and um, right now 
um, you know, answering emails, making phone calls, making appointments, paying bills. So yeah, that's basically what today looks like. I don't have anything else other than practices for my children and then dinner, which I still don't know what I'm gonna make for dinner, but I'm sure I'm gonna figure it out. Actually, I think I have orange chicken in the freezer, so I'll probably just do that. And white rice, bam, just figured out dinner. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm gonna be doing for the rest of the day, just chilling and emails and phone calls, so yeah. Hey you guys, we've made it to Friday and this is the end of the vlog. Um, like I mentioned very early on at the beginning of the vlog, it's my week was not like super exciting. I was busy, but like busy in the aspect of like busy with my kids and I really don't film a lot of um, content around my children. One, because they don't like being filmed. Two, I respect their privacy and three, I really don't want their faces out there um, for everybody else to see. So um, with that being said, I'm just gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. Um, I hope you enjoy the vlog. I know that it was like super simple, super mundane, but there's just so much beauty in the simplicity and the mundane moments in life. And um, that's really what I wanted to film and capture is that you know while we're doing the cleaning while we're you know making the meals for our family um there's worship in that you get to just you know also thank the lord that you have these things to be able to serve your family and um i love that that's the part of life that i really really enjoy just the simple moments i love waking up in the morning um, the stillness of the morning and making my coffee. There's so much beauty in that. Enjoying my coffee with my husband before my children wake up. So much beauty in that. Serving my husband breakfast. I love that. I love for him to know that he's taken care of. Doing my husband's laundry. Making my kids bed sometimes. Um, just stuff like that. Like acts of service. That is my love language when it comes to my family. I just love to do stuff for them. And, um, just God is so good. God is so gracious, so good. And um, I just thank him every day for the things that I have. Because to me, this is this is the richness in life. Having these things, having your family, you know, being, being able to serve them, being able to drive them to their practices, be at every practice, be at every game. That's, that's what life is about. And we love it. And, you know, I tell my husband all the time, I love my life with you. I love you. I, you know, the Lord blessed me so much with you. And it's the truth. I, I love him. I love the life that we've built and the home that we've created, um, the growth that we've, that we've um, gone through. Um, just so much growth, so much, so, 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 so much growth in our family. Um, and again, it's not by my own strength. It's all God every single bit of it, everything we have, everything um, that we've overcome, um, it's all because of God, not by our own strength. Because I'll tell you, there's just some struggles that we've been through and it's just been really, really rough. And just kind of like the song of Firm Foundation, I have peace that makes no sense. Like, literally like in the midst of chaos i have peace that makes no sense and i'm like it's because of the holy spirit it's because of jesus it's because of the father that's the only thing that's the only that's the only answer that i have um and that's what i continue to pray for um all the time no matter what i'm going through in life i want to be so grounded in the peace that the lord gives that it doesn't matter what I'm going through. I'm always going to praise him and I'm always going to be in peace because I know that he's gotten it. He has it taken care of. So you guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for um, watching our channel. And I hope that you come back for the next vlog. 
I love you guys and Jesus loves you. And um, I hope that you have a great rest of your week. Bye.